Well, good evening and uh, congratulations to Coach and uh, the football team and the staff at Walkersville uh, on a successful season. Uh, it was great to watch the games and see how the program continues to progress over many years. Uh, it is an honor to speak here this evening as a former, uh, as former athletes, Gary and I. Uh, Gary and I are really what you call old school Walkersville High School football players, as Joe mentioned. Uh, we were former football captains as well, and longtime friends uh, to this day that played, as Joe mentioned, on the first football team back in 1977. And uh, if you can believe it, it was nearly five decades ago that he and I played in some pathetic-looking uniforms <laughs> that I hate to show the pictures to, but uh, it, uh, it, it was. It was a, a, a great time, and the program was just in its infancy, and it's come a long way just with the, the coaching staff and how they, you know, use the uh, press box now and some things that we didn't have the luxury. We didn't even have lights uh, during our uh, our years. And they came with my brother playing, uh, which was a great thing. We had to play on Saturdays when we played at home. So uh, it's come a long way. So th this award that I'm going to speak to is we call the Danny Mac Leadership Award. Uh, and just a little history on uh, this individual. Uh, Danny Mack played football at Walkersville in the early 80s. He was the son of Gary and Glory Mack, Walkersville High, High School Booster alumni members. He grew up in Walkersville and was a 1983 graduate. Dan continued his education at Towson State University where he played football as well. After graduating from Towson, Dan married and was the father of two beautiful girls. He worked in the landscaping industry, but his passion was his love of the great outdoors. Dan was an avid hunter and an accomplished Ironman triathlete. Gary and I played football with Dan, and fortunately, not against him. He was the type of player that gave it uh, his all the entire time he wore his uniform. As an athlete with a magnetic personality uh, that others enjoyed being around. As Dan's father said to me last week, the football program and the friendships that he gained from his teammates helped guide him to become the person he was throughout his life. Truly a special individual to all that knew Dan. Uh, and I'd like Gary to speak more specifically about some examples of Dan and, as a person and as an athlete. So Gary, please. Thank you, Jeff, coaches, team. Um, I'm really here because I had the privilege of, of uh, knowing Dan as, first of all, as a friend, as a teammate, and as it was mentioned, I was a senior when Dan was a freshman at Walkersville, and then again, I attended Towson University where I was a senior and Dan came in as a, as a freshman. So uh, I have, you know, again, I spent a lot of time with him. He was a great friend. I just want to tell you a little bit about some of our experiences and, uh, and what, he, what he means and what his character um, exemplifies. Uh, that uh, year, going into the summer of my senior year coming up at Towson, um, I got a call from Dan stating, I'm going to be attending Towson, can we work out together? So I was ha at that time having a pretty good career. We started to have a great program at Towson, and I said, sure, come up to the house. And he says, well, what are we going to do? I said, you'll find out. So I live on Betty Duncan Road, uh, up near Woodsboro there, and I uh, had my own regiment of running hills and running up and down Benny Duncan. And those hot summer nights, inviting Danny over, um, I thought I was full of myself and, you know, in pretty good shape. And, and again, having a great career. And I want to tell you what, the boy could run and run and run. And he wore me out. And uh, we had numerous things that we did, and he was just a tremendous teammate and uh, gave him a good chance when he came in as a freshman at Towson. Uh, while he was at Towson, from his freshman year to his senior year, was probably the greatest era that Towson football ever had. Uh, losing to the eventual national champions um, three out of four years, making the playoffs three out of four years. Dan came in as a strong safety, um, had a good combination of size and strength, but, but he also had agility. And about midway through his sophomore year, he had a serious knee injury where he had to have his knee reconstructed. So I got to you know, watch him go through what that took to uh, reestablish himself as an athlete, as a football player again. Again, very, very tough. But thinking back on Danny and, and 
what he represented. He was one of those teammates, and when you play the sport of football, and you guys know this, um, your team, and the team as one, is much stronger than any individual on that team. And Danny was one of those guys that um, you could come to on the field as well as off the field, and he was very approachable. He was also a good leader in the sense that uh, he always gave it his all, and you could always count on him being there and being a great example for others. He didn't necessarily stand out as one of the best players. When he injured his knee, he went from strong safety back to linebacker because he just didn't have the agility anymore. And yet, he was one of the most beloved teammates in the history of Towson because of that kind of balance that he had and the fact that he understood football is a team game represented by many, many people towards a common good. That's what Danny represented. It was very difficult for me the few times I saw him uh, when he was sick because as a triathlete, and, and Jeff has a picture of him, he was just a phenomenal uh, looking person physically. Then to come into hospice and see him broken down, he, he actually reminded me of Gandhi. Just he had been burnt by, you know, the treatments and I lost a father to cancer so I'd been there. And I realized one of the reasons why he was so emaciated in those last days was that guy just never gave up. T tremendous just attitude and, and will that really is in, an inspiration to, to us as friends and teammates. And that's why we're here. That's, that's why we've come together to, uh, to uphold Danny, his name, and his family. And um, we just, just wanted to paint a, a small picture of, of what he meant to us. And um, again, this is a team game. And when you're, when you're in that locker room or you're on the field, you know, there's some guys there that make you laugh when it's stressful, when it's tense, and it's a good thing. There are other guys that might play just special teams, but make that one tackle that saves the game. You know, that's what I'm talking about. When you're part of a team, every player matters. You should protect one another on and off the field. You should respect one another on and off the field. That's the beauty of this game. And for the parents to experience this and be a part of it, that's what makes life go around. So again, Danny epitomized what it means to be a true teammate and a guy that you could go to for advice and for help, and ultimately his example. That's why we're here. Thank you. So as Gary alluded to, uh, Dan was diagnosed with AML leukemia cancer a few years ago and sadly lost his life on April 30th, 2009 at the age of 44 years old. But he won his fight with cancer on that day. I'd like to share with you some special words that were sent to Dan from the Lance Armstrong Foundation. In Ironman triathlete fashion, after 16 hours of competition, Dan crossed the finish line as a brave and battered soldier, exhausted and yet complete, surrounded by his family and friends. Last year we held a golf charity event for Danny's family and thanks to the outstanding support from the alumni, from the town, from the school, and friends, we raised over $43,000. We would like to thank everyone that participated, volunteered, and contributed to that great and successful event. But over the summer, before the season started, Coach and I and some various alumni agreed that each year in memory of Dan, the coaches would recognize the football player that best demonstrated the qualities that Dan Mack displayed each day. Those qualities are leadership, commitment, dedication, relentless, inspire, and never quit. On behalf of the entire Mack family, Walkersville High School alumni, and the coaches, the winner of the 2010 Danny Mack Leadership Award is Quentin Izzell.
To all the athletes here tonight, Gary and I present this challenge to each of you. Give your best in all you do. Each day, like Dan demonstrated as a football player, triathlete, student, father, husband, and friend. Thank you all very much.